So how might we go about representing this? Well, we learned that enums are a great way to store a state. So we're going to make an enum for our state. So what do we want? We want idle, we want jump, we want attack, we want fall. And now we need to start setting up what do we do when we're in a state and what do we do to transition between the states. So we might go if some variable state state equals idle, then we can check for input. And if input equals base, then we can go and set state equals to jump. And if input equals left click, then state can be set to attack. So we've defined some conditions. If we're in this state, that will allow us to transition to a different state. We can do another else. If state equals jump, we can go if falling, then state becomes fall and so on. Else if state equals attack, we can play an animation. And else if a state equals fall, we can check if on ground, then we can go state equals idle. So you get this kind of machine that changes what we do depending on what's happening.